Hi and welcome to this screencast about using GeoODF. This is the second video and I will show you how to create a simple organ. Um, first of all, you have to realize that uh, the organ definition file is just part of, of what makes up uh, a sample set. You need to have samples to play in, in Grand Org. Um, and so we will uh, kind of uh, reference to these uh, samples from the organ file. But first we need to set the location that we are working with. So I pick um, um, directory for that. And I will put a name here, uh, just um, anything really. Um, And you can really enter whatever you want. Um, the important um, fields are um, the location, the name and the church name. Uh, they are really important. Um, and a few of the others are used actually also in Grand Org. But uh, for this demonstration, it really doesn't matter what I write here. So I just put something. And we will perhaps examine that uh, later. Um, anyway, so the first thing I usually do is to, uh, well, you need a plan. So I will create an organ with just uh, one manual and a pedal in this case. So I start by adding wind chests for them. So. I will have a separate pedal wind chest and I will have a separate manual wind chest. Uh, so next step will be to create some manuals for this organ. And as I said, I want to have one pedal uh, and one manual. And the best practice uh, for Grand Org is to specify the manuals in the order of appearance. So you specify the lowest uh, manual or pedal first, and then you you add manuals um, in uh, rising order. So we select the pedal first first uh, and denotate that this manual is actually the pedal and I set a range for it like so and then I'll add a manual and I set a range suitable for that um, like so and now I, I'll add a stop uh, for uh, the pedal to play actually. So I will add a subbus. And for this example, I am going to use an eternal, uh, internal rank uh, that's specified within this stop. Um, so I select the internal rank tab and select the pedal wind chest. And I want to have 30 pipes uh, for this stop. So I add that and tab out and all the pipes end up here. Uh, the harmonic number is wrong for a 16 foot stop. So I need to adjust that um, to match a 16 foot stop instead and then a very quick way to fill um, the pipe tree is to click on the create new pipes by MIDI number from and then I get to select uh, a directory for that. Um, important is to notice that 
The first MIDI note here decides what number will be placed in pipe number one. So we do that. And I look for the pedal subas and do it like that. And if we examine the tree, we see that it has been filled with attacks and releases for each pipe all the way down to the pipe number 30. So that is done. And you might uh, note that there are some options when, when reading the pipes, like um, possibly additional attack folder. Um, if you only want one attack instead of multiple, um, if you want to load the release um, or not, you really need to know if, if there are releases in the samples or no, not. Um, but many times there are separate release folders and then you can specify what to search for to get them. And if you want to try to extract the time um, from the name or not and possibly if there are tremulance um, samples. So okay we'll leave that uh, there and for the manual I'll show you another way to do this um, by creating a rank instead. Um, this is not necessary to do for simple stops really, but I will show it anyway. So I create a new rank that I name Gedakt 8. And I will place that on the manual winches instead. And I will say that this has 56 pipes. And I will leave um, the harmonic number to 8 as it is an 8 foot stop. So, but I do it in the same way. Um, so I will add new pipes from uh, the GID Act, like so. And then we have now three attacks of which one is a tremulant attack. But we have not defined any tremulants yet. So maybe we should do that first. Okay, so I'll create a new tremulant and since I have samples for this, I, I will specify that it's a wave tremulant um, instead of a synth. So that's it and now for the manual Winchest, I need to specify that okay, um, this tremulant actually affects this wind chest, not the pedal um, in this case, but the manual. And while we are at it, let's uh, add an enclosure um, like so. Important, um, when you set a well volume, always tab out of, uh, of the um, spin control to get the value to set or otherwise leave it. Otherwise it won't be set. Okay, so for the wind chest, I'll also specify that, okay, this has some enclosure. And for um, the manual, I will specify that, okay, this tremulant will actually affect this manual. And I have created the rank, uh, but I have not yet said that, uh, okay, this rank uh, will be um, used by a stop. So I will add a new stop uh, that I also name get act eight foot 
and instead of an internal rank I will use reference rank instead again this is not really necessary in this case but I'll show it to you anyway so I'll add that like so okay let's add uh, some couplers maybe so we'll add um, a coupler for the manual to the pedal and you specify the name of it here uh, and we select the destination manual and it's a normal type no uh, no shift uh, of uh, the key if you press the lowest C then you get the lowest C it's the same MIDI number mm -hmm. okay that's that um, we could add a coupler for the manual um, that will be instead an octave coupler and I just give it a 16 foot name so it will target the manual the same manual and we have a destination key shift of minus 12 and you could uh, either step or enter the text um, and it's a normal type this too so uh, we we'll leave it at that and um, let's go on to display this organ in some way because now we have only created the, the structural parts of it so on the main panel perhaps we need to increase the number of draw stop rows because it's only one to begin with and we need one for the subas one for the get act and one for the coupler and one for that coupler so and we have a tremulant too so let's say three rows is the minimum now and here you can control the size of this but we'll leave it at the, at the default and uh, here you can control the layout let's say like so and we take just horizontal let's try this and see how that will look and there are some other things but I will leave the defaults for now as it is and we can go back and change it later if we want to so um, that's the basic now I'll need to add um, the elements and I can do that quite quickly by selecting them and just create GUI element of any selected item above and it's done so um, I want to specify where um, where I can find um, the the stops or uh, couplers or uh, tremulant so I will place the pedal stop to the left and um, the manual stop to the right so draw stop row one column one is okay for the subbus for the get act I want to have column two to the right and row one okay the pedal coupler should be in row two and column one the manual coupler in two two uh, the swell is just the enclosure and we'll leave that at the default and then the tremulant i need at row three in column two okay so that's it basically now we could um, actually try writing this organ out 
and let's also test it and I might need to change oh it works um, so I will open it not load open the example organ um, you see have ended up here and we can compare um, the location of it and the example organ and here we have it so I'll open that up and we have um, a basic organ but you can see that something is wrong here you, we have the pedal um, with a 30 note compass here and the manual here and the reason why it displays here is simply because we forgot to add in the main panel that this panel has a pedal so we add that yes and write the ODF and it's written and then we reload the organ like so and we have it here so that's the basic um, creation of an organ so thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next video bye